what happens after death. Death is inevitable. Everyone who lives dies. It is a penalty for sin that came because of Adam and Eve's disobedience to God in the Garden of Eden. The Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 5, verse 12 when Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. Have you ever wondered about what happens after death? Where does the body, soul, and spirit go? Is there a destination for believers and unbelievers in Christ? When a person dies, the body separates from the soul and spirit. The body becomes lifeless and starts to decay. The body is either buried or cremated and returns to dust. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says that the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. So, after death the dust with which man was formed will return to the earth which is the soil, the ground where it was taken from. This was confirmed by Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7 which specifically states, Then the dust will return to the earth as it was. The soul and spirit of both believers and unbelievers in Christ are immediately brought after death to a place called Hades. This is a temporary holding place where the soul and spirit wait for their resurrection, judgment, and eternal destinies. The soul and spirit of those who believe in Christ are brought to paradise or heaven in Hades. In Luke chapter 23, verse 43, Jesus told the thief on the cross, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Apostle Paul on two occasions spoke about death bringing us into the presence of Christ. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 23 Paul declared, I have a desire to leave this world to be with Christ, which is much better. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 6 and 8, Paul confidently stated, While we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord. We are confident, yes, well pleased rather to be absent from the body, and to be present with the Lord. The soul and spirit of those who did not trust Christ, the unbelievers, will be separated from God. They will go to a different place that is devoid of the blessing and grace of God. A place of torment, also in Hades. In the parable of the rich man and Lazarus told by Jesus in Luke 16, verses 19 to 31, Lazarus was righteous when he was alive on earth while the rich man was not righteous. Consequentially, their souls and spirits went to different places after death. Lazarus was taken into Abraham's bosom, also called paradise, a place of comfort, peace, and joy. But the rich man's soul and spirit was brought into a place of great torment. The soul and spirit are conscious and aware of where they are. The rich man saw that Lazarus was having a good time, so he cried out to Abraham. Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. The soul and spirit of believers and unbelievers will be reunited with their bodies at the resurrection, which will happen at different times and will have different natures for believers and unbelievers. Jesus informs us in John chapter 5, verses 28 to 29. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good, to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil, to the resurrection of condemnation. The souls and spirits of believers will be reunited with resurrected and glorified bodies. It will be different from the natural body that died and decayed. It will be imperishable, that is, free from sickness and pain. It will be honorable, devoid of carnal or fleshy desires. And it will be powerful, free from sin and temptation. The glorified body will be suited for eternal life in heaven with God. The resurrection of the believers in Christ will happen at the rapture, 
described by the Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. The soul and spirit of unbelievers will be reunited with their resurrected bodies at the great white throne judgment, described in Revelation 20, verses 11 to 15. It will be for unbelievers who will be judged according to their works, by the things which were written in the books. While the Bible is clear about the resurrected, glorified body of the believer, it does not give information about the resurrected body of the unbeliever. But, one thing is sure, anyone not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire, which is hell and torment for all eternity. Friends, the purpose of this video is not to scare you, but to give you peace and joy in knowing that your faith in Christ is a gift of life everlasting from God. This is also a call from God to you, as a believer, to tell others about the good news of Jesus Christ in John chapter 11, verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall leave. Share your faith with your family and friends, then allow the Holy Spirit of God to draw them closer to God. Stand firm in your faith, brothers and sisters, and let us press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us.